right, all right, all right, guys. <laughs> Where have we seen this before? Tuesday morning. Beautiful morning. My third set. I tried a couple earlier and the wind was howling down there. And I moved a few miles up and I'm calling these dunes. See these sandy dunes behind me? They go up and down, there's a lot of little rises. So it's kind of broken terrain. Perfect for calling because there's a lot of a lot of brush, but there's a good places to get your elevation and see them coming. You sit on one of the dunes, tuck yourself behind a or in front of a bush, put on a face mask and sit still. And there you go. Uh, this guy uh, came in at 10 minutes, which is pretty unusual. Most coyotes I shoot, they come within four minutes. But uh, I, I started with uh, Lightning Jack, and then I went to, uh, let me turn off my red dot. Uh, save my batteries. I started with Lightning Jack, and then, uh, uh, then I went to, Fox pop for three or four minutes and then I switched to juvenile fox and he came at a pretty good pace he was throwing and I could have gotten the shot on film but I got lazy I didn't bring the tripod with me it kind of gets hectic carrying all this crap around the, the color the shooting sticks the rifle that's why I kind of stopped bringing the shotgun but uh, I mean, when I hunt with the guys, it's different because we can share those those chores or things that we have to do, uh, you know, amongst us. I don't have to carry everything myself. But he came uh, about 10 minutes, I think it was on the timer, and he was going left to right. And I thought about stopping him, but sometimes they spook and he, he slowed down to a fast walk and I red dotted him. He was at about 65 yards. Dropped him and he was just trashing around for a while behind a bush. Broke his back so hit him a little high with the red dot. And then I thought he was dead. And then I started filming him. I realized he was trying to get back up. So I sent another one. That one I got on film. I don't know how because um, I was shooting with one hand, you know, I have the, uh, the swagger sticks on the rifle and I can just, they hold the rifle so I can just fire this way while I'm filming and, you know, sometimes it works and it tells you sometimes things work, sometimes they don't because those swaggers, the last time I was out calling, they cost me two coyotes, the, the little lacking colors on the legs for some reason kept getting loose and every time I, I had a coyote barking at me mad and I lined up on him I put him on film <laughs> and when I uh, when I broke right when I broke the shot the legs sank under the, the weight of the rifle I missed him and I was so pissed dude because that coyote was, I had his dead to rights standing like 125 barking at me on the on this on the hill in front of me he got away I went and did another call the same thing shy coyote came walking a ridge line I ranged him and I it was pretty far shot like 260 and uh, right when I squeezed the trigger the, the stupid sticks dropped again on me and you know maybe my bad I should I should before I start hunting I should just crank him tight and uh, you can see when it works it works because today I was just holding the rifle with one hand and I was able to, to shoot the coyote again while I was trying to film him with my left hand so um yeah good times uh, i got a bunch of ammo a couple of new optics i gotta go shoot my rifles but i don't know once i get to the hill i'm gonna decide if that's possible because the wind was howling in the morning like 30 miles or more when i went over the pass so if it's shitty there's no point of doing it but anyways i'm happy with this one Give you a little close up. Uh, 
this was the uh, the running shot I hit him there and and this is the uh, the coupe de grace I give him the finishing shot so he wouldn't suffer anymore but yeah I'm hunting these dunes here it's pretty cool pretty pretty cool because you see it's all broken terrain and there's little dunes like these all over the place and all you gotta go is sit on one of those dunes tuck yourself in front of a bush such as this real tight and you break up your outline and put a face mask on sit still and they'll come in if you're lucky so I'm gonna go shoot my other rifles now have me another kind of fun